So the latest Nintendo Direct announced a ton of cool things, from Game Boy Advance games coming to the Switch to a new trailer for the new Zelda game. But most importantly for me is that they announced a Sea of Stars demo, and I'm here to show you five things that you might have missed while playing it. Starting off, as many of you know, Sea of Stars is massively influenced by old school games. The most influence coming from Chrono Trigger, and within the first few minutes of playing the demo, if you pay close attention, you can see an artist painting someone. Well, they are painting them to look similar to the main character from Chrono Trigger, Chrono. Second, if you went and spoke to every NPC as I did, then you may have found this out on your own, but I'm sure many people might have missed this. If you speak to this old man, he says he saw someone swim under the docks. This seems like nothing like a thoroughly line, but if you go to the docks and jump in the water, you can swim under them and find a hidden market with a few hidden items, one of which is called the Arval Gambit, with its description reading, a mystical and dangerous relic for the daring only. I haven't been able to find out any information on what exactly this item does yet, but I'll keep posted on what I find. As you play through the demo, you'll come to this place called the Abandoned Wizard's Lab. When here, you're tasked with finding crystals and placing them on pedestals to open portals to different rooms. Something I overlooked my first time playing was I didn't think to put the blue and red crystal together before combining them all to finish the demo. If you place only the blue and the red, a purple portal will open and you can find something or someone in a well asking you to retrieve his watch from a fish that ate it. After you do so, he'll reward you with a Mage Knight armor that gives you plus defense and a lot of magic defense, and it's pretty strong compared to other armor in the demo. Once you're able to venture into the overworld, you can immediately see a sleeping dragon type creature, and if you're anything like me, you immediately went to investigate, only to be blocked by the demo wall. But the developers give us a teaser track for this area, The Coral Cascades, composed by guest composer Matsuda, who was the original composer for Chrono Trigger. And this last one is more of a combat tip, but I didn't realize this till late in the game. If you can time your attacks and press A right as you are attacking or being attacked, you can deal bonus damage or mitigate damage some. The game doesn't specifically tell you this, but it can be found in how to play section, along with some other important tips. These are all the little things that I found playing around on the demo, and I plan to keep messing around and looking for any other breadcrumbs that I can find. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It helps a ton. And if you like games like this, be sure to check out my Octopath Traveler video discussing the five changes made to the sequel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.